What's up, everybody? Disaster here. Thanks for coming back for another Disaster Peace Theater. So today, I thought I would look at some funny Japanese commercials. Um, if anybody knows me, they know that I love the Asian culture. I love Japanese. I mean, you can look around my house, and I have, like, pretty much 95% of my house is Asian themed. Um, I took Kung Fu when I was really young. Uh, the martial arts really touched me when I was little, and uh, I didn't sound right. But anyway, um, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy all things Japanese, and I kind of wanted to just grace you guys with some of our uh, our Japanese love over here. So, you know, thumbs up for, for Asian stuff, and for me, because I'm Asian. Nah, I'm not a weeaboo or anything like that. I, I do really thoroughly enjoy Asian culture, though, and uh, let's just have a fun time looking at some fantastic commercials from Asia, Japan, and the likes. Alright, we're recording now. We're rolling. Rolling, rolling hot. Rolling in deep today. Alright. Take a look. Looks the doodle. This is very weird. It's a giant dust monster. Oh my god, are those people? I want to race like that. That looks cool. Just like one wipeout and your whole face and body is over. You'll never be able to race this again. It looks it looks fun though. I I would definitely try that, I think. Possibly. Do you have to have any kind of physical attributes? Like do you have to be strong to be able to hold yourself up for like twenty minutes on wheels? Or like if you uh, your hands slip off, is it over for you? I don't know. I don't know if I wanna try that one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Billy Goat is it Hey Hey he, he out here with the that way I think in the Oh Oh, wait, hey, what, what is it? What is this one doing right here? This one, she, she looking, she looking down off a lot. What, what's, what's going on? Getting a little. Oh, oh, oh! They made them awfully shapely, didn't they? For lambs, lambs don't. They awfully. Mm. Mm. Uh, you see, you see the eye gave the dog You're like, bitch, I'm trying to get, go over and bust my thing up. Bust my thing up. I'm trying to get the two, 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 two. Uh, the jumps. I'm trying to do the, the cotton swab. You know the cotton swab? You two, with the wool on each end, the cotton swab. Why are you messing me up? You stupid dog. Oh my God. How to turn your daughter into a fucking slut at school. Jesus. Oh my God. Look, she taking her clothes off at school. What is this? Look at these little kids. You see look little kids? Ugh. Oh, oh, I'm gonna need to go in the locker room for like 20 minutes. Don't nobody come in. Oh, Jesus. Look at her. Look, he rubbing the lotion on her skin. She trying to give her the hose again in the back room. Yeah. Wow. And then everybody lined up. You be in that line too. Don't even lie. Don't even lie. What a chick come to your school, she can't even lose them. I ain't gonna tell you it was just one in the back room with the lotion. Don't lie. Fanta Zero. Everybody needs to go and get Fanta Zero. No more alcohol. We don't need it. Just get Fanta Zero. Give them Fanta Zero and they will be twerking it at the swimming pool in front of children. Fanta Zero. What the fuck? I, I don't know what the fuck I just watched. Apparently, if you uh drink this disco milk, that shit would turn your whole life around. You'd be pop-locking this shit all over the place. What the fuck? I don't even understand how the two connect. Does the juice make you feel like you're a whole nother person? Like you're not an 85-year-old grandmother who's sweeping up fucking leaves off the sidewalk, and all of a sudden you take a drink of this uh pop-locking milk, Next thing you know, you... what that would be, oh man, they got some great shit over there in Japan, boy, I'm telling you, we, we gotta make a trip, folks, us, all of us, we, we just gotta go, you come with me, we go roll out, man, the shit we'd see, oh, I know about Dragon Ball, oh, chicken, Dragon Ball and chicken, and drinks, and KFC, that's the best promotion ever. KFC Dragon Ball chicken with juice and cups. I want it. So good. McDonald's and Pikachu? Oh my god. 
Yes! Yes! I won it! Oh my god! When when McDonald's was running a whole Pokemon um thing back in the day, oh dude, I was all on it because I don't know about you, I really don't care. Um, but I was a big Pokemon fan ever since Generation One with the original 150 Pokemon all the way up into uh. Pokemon now. I mean, I don't really watch it or anything. I have it all. I could watch it if I wanted to. Uh, but I I'm just saying, I'm a big Pokemon fan. And uh, I, I feel like the connection between Pokemon and McDonald's is is uh, is, is su just super. You can't you can't get a better grouping of things that, that kind of almost... I almost think about Pokemon when I'm eating McDonald's. And when I'm eating McDonald's, I'm always thinking about watching Pokemon. It's weird. It's like this, because they did that back in the day. They did some kind of weird brain operation on us. When we were little kids, they they, they programmed us. They said, Pokemon and McDonald's, delicious. We're going to sell it together. And now you're screwed. That's what happened. They need to do it some more, though. They need to hook McDonald's back up with another Pokemon promotion. Hey, we all on it. We all, cause we gonna eat the food anyway, and and then if you get a nice little Pokemon toy for you yourself or your, your child or your uncle, nieces, nephews, whatever, I'm just making excuses to get Pokemon toys right now. But I'm saying, it's it's cool because you also get fed and cool toys you like. That's dope. They got men's Pocky. I didn't see that. Regular wait a minute. Hold on. Let we gotta go back real quick. I, I, have we been have we been eating the wrong Pocky? Pocky, look. There's Pocky Red, and there's Pocky Green for men. Pocky Men's. What the fuck is that? I don't, I didn't even, I didn't really, I've been eating the women Pocky all this time? I don't know, because cause the women Pocky tastes delicious. I wonder if the men's Pocky, what's the difference? Are they big, they got nuts in them? I don't want them with nuts. I don't, I don't want them with nuts. No. What, what, it tastes like sweat. Maybe some onions, salt. I don't want the men's pocket. I don't want it. Ugh. All right, guys. We're going to come back to you in a couple seconds after these messages. Mmm, I'm so hungry. And there's nothing to eat. I can really go for a bowl of soup. Hey, look out, bitch. Ow, hey, ow, somebody say hop in. I work my slaves to the bone. They put my sweat in these boxes for the soup. Put it in the microwave. I'm hungry and I have herpes. Don't worry. It cures herpes and my people fill you up. I limited to these four distinct flavors. I'm very old. Pop, we even got Ray Mysterio as a bodyguard. Tell him, Ray. Yeah, that's right. Eat this beef and fuck you up. Oh, shit. I'm going for the more anime style, bitch. Eat my fucking hot beef. And we're back. For more awesome, no, oh, she's an alien. I see. She just wanted to suck his suit. And just listen, isn't this just how women are? You think she's really into you? You know what I'm saying? You just eating your your hot noodle soup with your chopsticks, and some chick comes on over and she's like, mm, I wouldn't mind eating some soup with you. And then you go, mm, I, yeah, we could eat some soup together. And she's like, ah, uh -huh, psych, I'm an alien. Uh, I'm just gonna whoop, 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 take your soup and you ain't gonna get nothing out of it. There you go. Bye-bye. It's not how all relationships with women are. They just come and they take what they want and then they leave. And you just look down at your, your soup cup with your noodles all gone and your vegetables floating around and your life just sad, just looking like you ain't got nothing to fill you up now but some salty water juice and some old ass freeze dried vegetables. Oh, and she killed him. Damn, she took his soup and killed him. That's fucked up. And she had like three babies she was trying to feed. Maybe that's why she had to kill him because, you know, she ain't want to bring back some, some dude to her three alien babies. You know what I'm saying? Play step alien daddy, uh, you know, to her kids. So she just took his soup, killed him. You know, kept it moving, kept it popping. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it moving out here in the galaxy. You know what I'm saying? You never know. This shit terrified me. What if you woke up in the middle of the night, you didn't know where you were, and started watching, like, Asian commercials, and you just see aliens and shit shooting people. <laughs> you just start freaking out. I hate, I hate when Americans go over to Japan, and they do a commercial or some shit, and they just sound so out of place. Learn the language. Speak it correctly. Sound horrible. Uh, yeah, everything has to be anime. Everything has to be cute girl anime looking like a either young girl or some kind of older molestable woman 
gigantic breasts. Um, a- Asian uh, marketing. I-, I keep saying Asian. I feel like that's wrong. I need to say like Japanese or Chinese, depending on the origin of where it's from. The the, the Japanese, since we're watching uh, Japan Thing, which is like my favorite place to go for Japanese commercials and funny stuff check them out for show japan thing great channel i love them fantastic um but th- their characters always have to be really cute or really uh attractive it, because it's a it's a good way to market to young children and to your older horny males um that are sitting there with their wieners out at three o'clock in the morning you know i mean what what this is the best way to market to them the, the, Japanese people have found the greatest way to market to people, and that is to touch you in your soul. With the things that you enjoy, they know what you like, and they're gonna give it to you. Deep and wet. Oh, you get a free half naked car. That's great. On Game Boy Advance. Oh, look. Wow, look at this, look at this Mario commercial. We never got here in America. This is dope. Dude, if however big Mario Kart sold, it would have sold a hundred million times more if they would have put the interest into the commercials and the marketing of it here in America like they did in Japan. Because we didn't get that stuff. They stayed this stuff like, hey, Mario Kart's out. Uh, do you have a Game Boy Advance? No? Oh, well. That was the commercial. Like, do you play Mario Kart? No? Oh, we don't either. How do you market a game like that? This is probably one of the greatest games ever sold. Mario Kart Advanza. They could have they, they could have left that part in here in America, and then they would have sold a hundred million times more. Cause they'd be like, "Oh my God, it's Mario Kart Advance!" And then that would have brought people into the whole Japanese things. You know what? Let's go to a commercial break. We'll be right back in a few moments. Oh, you're so silly. Not here in this alley. Where's your car at? I have a real hey, problem. Hey, hey, who out here trying to smash something? Hey, 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 thanks, hey, you got some big trouble in Little Tokyo. Hey, hey, ain't nobody smashing. There's your boy getting some on that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my dude, look, she took her boobies out. Look, dude, oh, oh, oh look. She about flat as a board, boy. Oh, she about flat as a Navy ship. Oh, oh shit, that's a man. That's a man. I'm still trying to smash though. Still trying to smash though. Uh, can I still get some? Uh, still trying to smash though. Uh, uh, still trying to smash that. Uh, you, you, we still heading out. And we're back. Thank you so much for watching these fantastic commercials. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on our romp through Japan's things. If you want to know anything about Japan, it's giant robots and heavy metal. Uh, this is the weirdest commercial I've ever seen. I, I don't understand this commercial. So this girl's walking, she has absolutely no rump whatsoever. I mean, her underwear is literally loose in the middle. And then I think they like photoshopped a boy's body on a woman or something. Cause she's got the, she's, I just, I feel sick. My, my body feels sick. How does this relate to the, to the car? I don't know. I feel sick. Uh oh. Everybody knows about this, Attack on Titan. Oh my God, the worst anime that's ever been created in existence ever. Who the hell likes Attack on Titan? Look, we're about to have a discussion right now. Attack on Titan, really? Giant inside out monster people that smash the town. What is interesting about that? Nothing, nothing. Oh, Attack on Titan so awesome, the giant monster, the monster, shut up. Nobody gives a fuck about them big, dumb, inside-out monsters. Huh? Let me think about this real quick. Real quick. Okay, so they have skin. You have skin on your body to protect you from all the dangerous shit outside your body. So if these big, dumb-ass monsters had their skin flipped inside-out and they got all their internal organs and all that shit is on the outside, but they're really on the inside still. Wait, what? And then all their raw nerves and shit is exposed. Hit them bitches with some cold air. And then be on the ground shivering. This shit is stupid. Blow them up. They're, they're dumb. I don't. And then, and then the, the the delivery system of how you destroy these monsters. You got to get on a fucking uh, a, a roller coaster ride, basically, and catch them behind the neck and slash them so that they get just get the fuck out of here. Just just why? Why? Why would you even? Why would you waste your time watching something like this? I used to read the manga. What well, they use extra dumb? Cause now you done wasted your time reading the manga and wasted your time fucking watching the anime. It is stupid. Stop it. I'm tired of having these discussions. Attack on Titan sucks dick. Donkey dick with hemorrhoids on it. 
Shut up. It's just weird and stupid. I'm angry now. Let's go to another commercial. Look at all these motherfuckers playing this boring ass shit. I trained for this. I tra Oh shit, my dad's gonna hang himself. Hey kid, you wanna play with my balls? I stole this glove. Man, fuck your baseball. Hey, hey, who dog is this? Hey, I'm gonna holler at you later, shorty. Mm, looking good right there. Just kinda thick. Hey, smell my balls. They're delicious. You hippie muppet motherfucker, I said, fuck your ball. Hey, ooh, sh hey look at that. Stop, stop, stop. Give me the ball. Let's give me the ball. Give me the ball. My dude, I barely made it back. I beat that ass dog, got these chips. They good? Hell no, they taste like dog shit. All right, we're back from the part show, and I'm still angry. Uh-oh, this guy's got the harem dream right here. This is the lifestyle right here. He's, he's living the harem dream, baby. You know what I'm saying? The harem dream. He's the, the lone man. He's got the skills or whatever, and all the chicks all just want to take him to the room. You know what I'm saying? They just, just him by himself. And just all these girls just for some reason find him more attractive than all the other guys that look exactly like him in his entire existence. I don't know, but it's the dream. I, I love it. I love the harem dream. I love it in anime. The anime is great when you see a harem. Usually it's involved with a bunch of big boob girls and one guy and they just rub up against them. And he's like, ah, oh, this is the f most fantastic thing ever because that's exactly what most men think about before they go to sleep, just being caressed with boobs all over their body. I mean, I feel it. I feel it. Japan knows how to market to people. All right? That's, if anything can be said, Japanese people know how to make a business out of something. Absolutely. Get your bitch ass on. Over there dreaming about chicks. Get your bike with your basket on it. Every bike in Japan is just looks not cool. Because it always has a, a it has to be uh, it has to be a utility to it. it. Has to have some some kind of purpose extra. Not just the fact that it's gonna take you from point A to point B, but also it has to have some extra you know, usage, it's a basket. So now you can go shopping on your bicycle and take all your groceries home and not have to carry them on your back. Let's go to another question. Uh, lick my balls here for a little bit. Hey guys, I'm legally blind without my glasses. I just want to tell you something, don't do drugs. But right now, I'm high as fuck like that plane. Look, me, look, look, I'm high as fuck. That motherfucker owe me $20. My guy fly up here, beat your ass. This bitch flipper here owe me money. Hey, she can get it though, she kind of thick. I mm -hmm. like like that, you know, yeah. Call the police. Oh shit, help, help. I'm back, bitch, with the E.T. Molly chips, bitch. They the shit, man. Them high as fuck. The bitch is any good? Fuck no. It still tastes like dog shit. Ah, that was a funny commercial. What is, what is what the Asian dudes looking like fucking anime characters in real life? Dude, the Aqua Teal Marine, that's your hair color, bitch. Fucking, uh, with yellow streaks in it. And fucking, uh, unkempt brown with the pink on it. Monster. This motherfucker is in full kabuki makeup. Like this, just, ka just Kabuki man. Hi, I'm like uh, 20 McNuggets. And you come to the window and go, what the fuck, bitch? Why are you in Kabuki makeup? Huh? You about to rob a store or some shit? Huh? Over in Japan? Give me eye on my day. What the fuck are you doing? Is that like blackface? For j Is that racist? Is that racist? Because he's Japanese, can he do that? Or is it, is, is it? Would that be like a black guy walking around with like a bucket of fried chicken and Newports in his pocket and like a Fantas? Oh, no, that's just a regular black guy. Okay, uh, okay, we're gonna move on. Look at this bitch. This nigga, look, he looks straight like Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck, he about to play a trap card on our asses if we don't get out of here. And this cat look dumb as fuck. Look, he about to cross out of it. One of his eyeballs slanted all stupid and he got his tongue out. Uh, a fucking dumb ass cat. He like, hey, give me that. Hey, let me just. Oh, she feel oh, just with the little kitty spoon. That is the cutest shit. Ew, that shit like an aborted baby fetus chicken. Uh, this is terrible. Let's go to a commercial. I need to think. How does he always get me? I need to be faster, stronger, more flexible, more aware. Bill Cosby like milk for those rambunctious youths. Mmm, mm. delicious. All right, we're back from the commercial. What the hell is that? Is that that thing that kills Steve Irwin? Oh, bitch, the guy's a killer. he stab you in your heart. You better look the fuck out. He try, and he trying to sell you a printer, bitch. Oh my God. Nigga, if a stingray came in my house and tried to sell me a printer, you best believe I'm buying it immediately because he would sting you in your heart. You would die, quick. Man. Look, he said, I'll stab you in your heart. Hey, one of the pigmen farted. I saw that. Oh, shit. Get up, lady. Look, the thing about to, about to eat you. Oh, oh, no, it's right here. I'm sorry. I thought it was big as her. Oh, shit. 
That thing was about to bite her in her kneecap. She had punched the shit out of that damn thing. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me besides watch these videos, which makes me so very happy because I get an opportunity to make you laugh and you get an opportunity to experience my comedy for free. So with that being said, please drop a like and subscribe. I work very hard on these videos and uh, hopefully you guys watched them all the way through and got a little chuckle out of them. Thank you so much. I'm Disaster and I will see you again real soon.